My conversation? Our conversation, sir. No, I, I can't, I'm sorry. Yes, I can. Poster 7, go check it up. It's on the wall. So I'm just documenting for the courts that if this transaction doesn't happen, that this is actually the issue that we're going, that is going on right here. Is there an override? Well, sir, I have to make sure that this document goes out legally. That is the legal address. And we're having a problem here with the system of this strange address that is the ad correct mailing address going to, um, in their system, being certified registered mail. So this is the last legal day I can mail this document off, and I've been doing this for five years to this address. So uh, upon review of the Supreme Court, it doesn't receive this document. Please uh, understand that, sir, is Mr. Safi, is this, this is the correct issue that's going on. This The, the address to this building is incorrect. 16th floor, Strawberry Square. That's the issue. Please understand, sir, I just have to document this transaction in case they try to catch me in a legal loophole that this didn't go off. It's already legally, I have to send it first class, but you're telling me that it's over the weight limit and it's not even an option for you to send. So, again, the situation presents itself. What is it, Lisa? 16th floor, Strawberry Square, Harrisburg, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, one second. Yeah, that's, looks, that looks great, sir. I've just been doing this for five years and it's never been in, never been anywhere near that. I came prepared, I had all my receipts written out and stapled. I've been doing this for five years, that's a Supreme Court appeal. I didn't just wake up one day and figure out how to do that. I've been doing it for five years. Okay, $43.90, please. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, sir, if you would check poster seven, you would see that you are allowed to document your transactions in video. Mr. Safi. So what you guys didn't see was the 20 minute argument that preceded this that made me whip my phone out. Back it up. You see that? That's the Supreme Court's copy. For 20 minutes, this guy tried to enter in the P.O. box number for the zip code. Back it up. <laughs> Is there an override? And his refusal to override this address was his retaliation for me calling him out on messing up the last one. Did you see his quick demeanor change reconsidering his position after I whipped my phone out to start recording? My conversation? Our conversation, sir. No, I, I can't, I'm sorry. Yes, I can. Poster 7, go check it up. It's on the wall. Folks, that's why it's important to learn the law and learn when you can and cannot film public servants. So uh, upon review of the Supreme Court, it doesn't receive this document. This guy's ego almost prevented me from filing a Supreme Court appeal. The state hid one of their cronies stab me, but you don't have to take my word for it. Yeah, yeah, uh, you got off with murder pulling your pistol on me. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's my assailant admitting to it on video. So how'd you get off for stabbing me? Well, uh, I'm not off. So I just dragged it in front of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Check out the appeal link below down in the description. It's hilarious. I link all the evidence down there too. Folks, this video is free to download and use as your own material. Please help me get this out there. This video will rock the state judiciary. Have a hand in that by sharing with your friends. Thanks y'all, much love.